Hi there, and thanks for joining in as we get a good picture of the side effects of the antihistamines that can make you drowsy. In this video, I'll explain why you shouldn't be taking antihistamines for your allergies if they make you drowsy, especially if you're an older adult or taking other medications. I'll also give you a list of alternative antihistamines that have been clinically proven to be at least as effective in reducing allergy symptoms and have a longer duration of action. Diphenhydramine, also known as Benadryl and by many other names which are listed over here, was one of the first available antihistamines and as such it's known as a first generation antihistamine. It's associated with a large variety of adverse effects including life-threatening toxicities. The most important reason for many of those adverse effects is the fact that the first generation antihistamines easily broke through what we call the blood-brain barrier and there they acted on the receptors in the brain. So in the brain they blocked the histamine receptors decreasing arousal but more importantly they blocked the acetylcholine receptors in the brain and just to give you an idea of how important those receptors are, the best medications that we presently have for improving the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease and other forms of dementia actually increase the acetylcholine levels in the brain. So it should come as no surprise that many clinical trials have shown that diphenhydramine impairs cognitive functions such as memory, alertness, attention, and reaction time, and resulted in symptoms such as inattention, delirium, disorganized speech, and altered consciousness. And the adverse effects are not limited to older individuals as studies have found that learning ability is also affected in teenagers who have taken first generation antihistamines in comparison to the second generation antihistamines. These studies also reported that diphenhydramine increased fatigue and sleepiness while decreasing motivation. But most importantly, long-term use of diphenhydramine or other first-generation antihistamines is associated with an increased risk of developing Alzheimer's disease and other forms of dementia, especially in older adults. All of this combined with the fact that diphenhydramine interacts with a total of 802 different drugs means that it would be prudent to start looking for an alternative. And importantly, there are alternatives that are easily accessible and similarly priced. They're called second generation antihistamines or on the label you can simply look for the words non-drowsy formula or non-drowsy antihistamine. And those second generation antihistamines are much newer. They've got fewer side effects. They have an equivalent onset and a longer duration of action. And that list is posted right here. I hope this video helped and thanks for joining in and I'll see you in the next video.